Properly cemented joints are essential for an effective plastic pipe system. In this video, we'll show you how to join large diameter pipes the right way so you can have confidence in a job well done. Before you begin, make sure you're prepared with the right materials for the job. The proper primer, cement, and if necessary, cleaner. The right size applicator and enough people in your joining crew for the size of the job. Start by cutting the pipe as square as possible. When cutting large diameter pipe, use a pipe wrap or circumferential tape to mark a guideline around the outer diameter of the pipe. Cutting along this line will give you a square cut. You may prefer to use an electric reciprocating saw, band saw, or the type of mechanical power saw if you are trained and skilled at operating them safely. Check the end of the pipe to make sure it has been cut square. Remove inside diameter burrs or raised beads with a deburring tool or knife. To remove the burrs or raised beads on the outside diameter of the pipe, use a file, external deburring tool, or power beveling machine that will produce a 3 seconds of an inch, 10 to 22 degree chamfer, or bevel. We don't recommend using a side grinder or mechanical disc sander. Too much bevel in the pipe end can produce a gap at the fitting bottom. Now, with a clean, dry rag, Wipe away any dirt, grease, shavings, or moisture from inside and outside the pipe, pipe bell, or fitting socket. You need to make sure all the surfaces you're going to join are free of foreign material. This includes any chemical, paint, coatings, or any other residue that may have stuck to the pipe during storage. Weldon has a variety of cleaners you can choose. Next, check the fit. A good dry fit occurs when the pipe enters the fitting at least one-third to two-thirds of the way into the socket without being forced. This dry fit should not be too tight or loose enough to jiggle. A net fit occurs when the pipe bottoms into the fitting socket with no interference, but without slop. Measure the fitting socket length and mark this distance on the pipe outer diameter. To ensure the fitting has been fully inserted, Add a couple inches to this distance to make a second check mark on the pipe, as the primer and cement will remove the first mark. Use a mechanical pipe joining device to ensure that the pipe is fully bottomed out into the fitting socket or pipe bell. In this demonstration, we're using the weld on pipe puller tool to assemble the joint. The socket bar attachment, used for inline fittings, is placed equal distance over the center of the socket entrance. Two adjustable locks keep the bar centered on the fitting so that an equal, even force is applied. This keeps the fitting from cocking to one side and producing a large, undesirable gap. Force is transferred from a cable winch to the socket bar on the other attachments by means of a cable yoke that splits the force and helps to produce an equal, even amount of tension necessary to bottom out large diameter fittings. When handling primer and solvent cement, Wear safety glasses to protect your eyes and nitrile gloves to protect your hands. And be aware, weld on solvent cements and primers are flammable and should not be stored or used near sparks, heat, flames, or other sources of ignition. Keep any equipment that causes sparks or flames, such as welding torches, away from the work area. You'll need either a swab or roller for a large diameter pipe. Paint or bristle type brushes are not recommended. You'll need a swab for large diameter pipe to provide the most consistent coverage. The applicator size should be approximately one half the pipe diameter. Applying primer is an extremely important step in creating a first class, long lasting joint. Primer softens the joint area so the joint can fuse together. Without primer, fusion is weak and a joint may fail. Before you prime, Check the penetration or softening ability of the primer on a scrap piece by scraping a few thousands of an inch. Now, apply the primer, vigorously working it into the fitting socket and keeping the surface and applicator wet until the surface has been softened. Remove any puddles. In the same manner, apply the primer to the end of the pipe equal to the depth of the fitting socket. Then, apply a second round of primer to the fitting. Don't allow primer to run down the inside of the fitting or pipe. In the case of bell and pipe, do not allow the primer to run past the bell socket into the pipe. 
Placing a board under the fitting, giving it a forward tilt, may help keep the primer and cement from running into the fitting socket. While the surfaces are still wet and without hesitation, apply the solvent cement in a full, even layer onto the pipe, equal to the depth of the fitting socket. Then immediately apply a medium layer of cement to the fitting socket. Avoid puddling. Without delay, apply a second even layer of cement on the pipe. Most joint failures are caused by insufficient application of cement. Again, do not let the cement run down the inside of the fitting or pipe. Working quickly, assemble the pipe and fitting while the cement is still wet. If it's not completely wet, recoat before assembly. Hold the joint together for 30 seconds or more, depending on the temperature. This will eliminate movement or joint push-out. Finally, wipe off the excess cement, including the ring or bead around the socket entrance. This will help the joint to cure faster. Avoid disturbing the joint as it cures. If the cement coatings have hardened, cut the pipe, dispose of the pipe and fitting, and start over. Do not assemble partially cured surfaces. As we finish up, let's review the four basic principles of solvent cementing. You must apply primer to make joining surfaces soft and semi-fluid. You must apply a generous amount of solvent cement. You must assemble while still wet and fluid. You must allow the cement to dry, set, and cure for strong joints. For more than 70 years, Weldon has been the global leader in solvent cement technology, not only because of our fail-proof products, but also because of our commitment to you, our customers. We're dedicated to providing you with the knowledge and education so that every job you perform delivers the best possible results. When it comes to joining your pipes, we know that trust can't be compromised, and we're proud to deliver the world's most trusted bond. Contact us to learn more and sign up for free in-person training.